Zach, tell us what we're doing today. Today we are attempting to finish the den with the flooring. It has been a struggle. Yesterday I spent about four hours over here in mental agony and stress because I could just not do it perfectly. But with the help of my family, our family, we conquered, we utilized some tools that were very helpful. This is called a mega saw, but we also got this cutter. Oh. It's a little squeaky, but it works wonders. <laughs> what else do we have? A jigsaw. This has been really nice because for areas like around this door, we can just use it to cut the line. So that's actually what I'm about to do right now. It's starting to work out. Zach's in a much happier mood and progress is being made. <laughs> Is it a perfect fit? We'll see. Wow. Wow, look at that. <laughs> oh. Right there, perfect. Wow, how about that cut? <laughs> Big news today, we finished everything in here. Jared, my brother, helped me finish the closet. And then I got to about the edge of the fireplace. And then Jared came and helped with the rest of it. We got it all done except for into the bathroom. But right now it's really dusty in here because we ju I just sanded down the floor in there because there's some lips on top of the floor and it's gonna make it a little high in spots. So I sanded those down. You can kind of see the little areas. And then we're gonna start to lay the floor. We got the hard part done. Now we're just gonna lay about two or three rows, move it, and then we'll get some weight on it and be able to lay the rest. So right now I have three good rows. They're gonna line right up into the vents. I'm hoping that it'll slide right in without breaking apart. My biggest concern is it's just me here. And yeah, just me. So I'll probably start by pushing in the middle, just a little bit at a time, and hopefully it doesn't bend and break apart. So let's see what happens. I just gotta do the final test and that's to make sure it's all together. Wow. I'm a little stressed about that, but it all worked out. So now I'm gonna put some weight on here so that way it doesn't move. And then we'll be back tomorrow morning to hopefully make some more progress, progress and finish by the afternoon or evening. See you tomorrow. Good morning, back at it with the floors. This morning I got a couple of rows complete and right now I'm working on one of the hardest parts, other than the cut I made over by the bathroom yesterday. So if you could see, this is the cut that I'm gonna be making. <clears throat> so it's gotta go straight here and then around the banister and then it's gotta kick back again right here. And there's just gonna be that really thin skinny line over on this side. So really difficult, but hopefully I made the right measurements. Okay, let's see if it fits. Yeah, let's go. Uh oh. Right now I am laying some self-leveling right here in this gap. 
and then it continues. This was where a wall was originally. So I have my self leveling stuff here. First time I've ever used it. Wish us luck. Wish us luck. It said to make it a thin soup consistency. So hopefully that is good. All right, looks really nice. Now just waiting for it to dry. Six o'clock, Jared, once again, bless his heart, came over, helped me. We got all the way to the hall. <clears throat> so hopefully, well, hopefully, I will finish tonight, even if I have to stay late, but it's gonna look good when it's done. So I found a spot where I had to put the self-leveling again. So I just got that mixed, laid it. It looks really nice. I also just got another hard piece. So this one is done. And my lovely wife cooked dinner, brought it here. Still don't know what it is, but let's check it out. <gasps> what? Chicken? Pesto pasta with salad and dressing? I married up. Hello everyone. We have ran into a bit of a dilemma and that is the dishwasher is being kind of a pain in the butt to get out. So I, right now, I'm trying to get it out so that way I can finish the floors and then this won't be an issue. So I just took off the toe kick and look how gross that that is disgusting. This is underneath our dishwasher and I gotta figure out how to disconnect all of that. I should probably go turn off the power to it. Before you mess with your dishwasher, number one, make sure your breaker is off and number two, there's actually three. Number two, make sure your water's off. And number three, make sure you are 100% sure you are getting a new one, which I am correct or I'm right on all three of those, so. What we have right now. Oh, I see what the issue is. Okay. All right, I think I see the problem. So, my copper wire, which is the water line, is attached somewhere on here, and that is not good. It needs to be detached. I don't know about if this is all cabinets, probably just ours because it's super old, but this is a super thin sheet of wood, like super thin sheet. So I'm just gonna rip the whole thing out and then I'll just, I'll just buy a new one, put it up there, good as new. So once we get this out, we'll be able to lay the floor over there, over it, put a new one in and we'll be all good to go. So stay tuned. I had to take a drast drastic measure. I cut it out the countertop. Let's go, got it. So I think it was stuck on this vinyl right here. And then it may have been glued or stapled to the ground in some way, but look at that. So the only thing I gotta detach is this copper wire because this one is already detached right there. Wow, got it out. Now we just gotta clean up, ready? Well, it is almost 1 a.m. and I think I'm gonna go home. I did not quite finish 
because I spilled some water on the floor and I don't want to put the flooring over a wet surface and it's taken a while to dry. So that little spot is what's holding me back. It's still a little wet, so I'm just gonna let it dry overnight. And I only have eh, maybe an hour to go, so I'll just finish it tomorrow. So it's just that little spot. And then down here in the bathroom, I went ahead and laid a couple of boards. So I laid two, well, three boards if you count that one. Signing off today, see you tomorrow. We're back, it's the next morning, and we're here to finish the floors. So again, that's my little spot that I have left. This spot right here is all dry, so I can go ahead and continue. The time is finally here. I am done with the floors, except for the bathrooms, but all the main, all the main rooms are done. So here we have the kitchen living room. I was able to get underneath the stove and the dishwasher over there. And then we have the hallway, a little bit of the bathroom. That's all we have left. And then we have all of the den complete. All right, today I'm replacing this toilet in our downstairs bathroom. And the trick to do that is to get all the water out of it. So here's how I do it. This is the last piece that is going in of the floors right here. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Probably not, but most. We'll yep. There we go. Everything is done in the bathroom. Beautiful floors. Today I'm changing this whole air vent out with a new one. Not horrible, but that's the inside. It's caked with dust. Definitely something that needs to be replaced every once in a while. One I'm sure has not been replaced at all since it was built. So 1979, what would that be, 50 years? For around 50 years. Okay, so I unboxed the new one, went ahead and vacuumed this out. Went ahead and vacuumed this back here too. It's kind of covered in dust. You can kind of see the spots where it is and where it isn't, but you want to do this really light when you're using your shop vac because it will literally suck it, the insulation right off. So you just do a really light touch and it'll get some of that dust off. This is the new one. They even packed a filter in here, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. All right, and just like that, we have a nice white cover. Right here, and that holds it into place. We figured out the paint we're gonna go with for our stairs. 